Hey guys, Talem here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to extract BSA and BA2 files for use in Mod Organizer 2. Some of you may be aware that there was a bit of controversy around BSA files, and should you even bother extracting them? Well, for the most part, I would say no, especially if they contain scripts. There's really no reason to extract them, but when you're using Mod Organizer 2, you're much more flexible in the management of your files and in the protection of the data folder within Skyrim Special Edition or Fallout 4. So that is why I'm gonna show you how to extract a BSA file in Mod Organizer 2 if you want to. And as I said before, you don't really ever wanna do it unless you are dealing with a mod that more or less has an empty ESP. It's basically just an ESP file that points towards a BSA that says, hey, the stuff's in there. And usually it's just text and meshes. And when it's just textures and meshes, there's no reason, especially in the environment of Mod Organizer 2, when the data folder for the main game is protected, that, you know, you shouldn't extract those BSA. So that's what I'm going to show you to do. So what you want to do is go to the site here, this uh, link here on the Nexus, go down to Files. You're going to manually download the BSA Auto Extract Utility created by I Want My Mod. It's a great name, by the way. And once you have downloaded it, go ahead and open it and stick that sucker in a folder of its own. Somewhere not in your program files, not within your game install, somewhere safe. I put mine in my game utilities folder. It's kind of the place where I stick all the utilities for the various games that I use. It's on a drive away from uh, my SSDs because really I don't need those programs to be burning at that kind of speed. So I just stick it on my HDD in my game utilities folder and hey, that works perfectly. Now, once you have uh, downloaded it and installed it, let's go into Mod Organizer 2 here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a command link here in the pull down window. If you don't know how to do that, I'm surprised if you don't, if you're using Mod Organizer, but in case you don't, you just go to edit here, go down to the binary line, and you would just navigate to the install location of the extractor, which is right here. Just click on open and it will add it to your list. Now I already have it in there, so I'm not gonna do it twice, but that's effectively what you do. Now, once you've done that, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to extract the, the mod you wanna extract. Now for this case, I'm gonna use the Terrain LOD Redone as an example. This is just an empty ESP that points towards its BSA. Let me go ahead and go to open and explore. And as you can see, this ESP just tells that, hey, this BSA is right here. That's where all the textures and meshes are. Now, if you're wondering, well, how can I tell if a BSA just has textures and meshes in it? Well, what I normally do is I'm going to go back into here. I jump into the uh, SSE edit and I give that a run. What I do is I just click on this file, click on OK, and I will let it start doing its thing. Now, if I open it up, you see that the ESP is empty. That's usually an indicator that it contains just textures and meshes, maybe a script. But that way I know that I can go ahead and get this open. Now I personally already know this contains just textures and meshes, but if you go ahead and try to extract a BSA file and you notice that it does have scripts or whatever, it's very easy to undo this process. Nothing gets deleted unless you make it get deleted. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, go back into uh, our Explorer here. We want to keep this open. And let's go ahead and run the BSA Extract. As you can see, it's a very nice looking tool, very sleek, and it runs very well. Now, as I said before, the, you have these two buttons up here, one to delete the BSA, one to move it. If it is a huge texture BSA and you just don't want to waste the space, you can delete it, but I don't recommend ever deleting it within this program. Extract it first to make sure that it's just textures and meshes, that there is no scripts or whatever in it. That's way, because if you delete it, the only way to get that BSA back is to reinstall the mod. And uh, that's just more download time, et cetera, et cetera. You don't really want to delete it unless uh, you're absolutely 100% certain. So I'm going to go ahead and take this BSA and I'm just going to drag it and drop it right into here. All right, now I'm gonna leave this window open so you can kind of see what transpires as I run the program. It's very quick, very simple, and uh, hey, you don't really need any kind of technical know-how beyond clicking a button to really do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little Extract Files button here. It'll start doing its thing, and as you see, full directories will start appearing 
in uh, the LOT Redone mod install location. So we're going to let it do its thing. It should only take a minute. All right, it's done. And as you can see, the BSA file disappeared. That's because it moved it automatically into this optionals folder. Now, if I had this selected, when I ran it, it would have deleted that BSA. All right, so I'm going to close this here. And as you can see, inside that BSA was just these textures and meshes. That's it. Nothing else. No, no scripts. Nothing else that's uh, fancy or risk damaging the game. Now, you're probably wondering, well, do I even need this ESP anymore now that that BSA is removed? Well, no, you don't. But what you can do is just close this. Go back to your Mod Organizer 2 here. Let's go to the Terrain LED Redone. And a double click. Go over to Optional ESPs. And then we can just kick that over to there. Bam, it's done and out of the way. Let's go over to data so we can actually see our files. There's a message right there, the terrain, Tamriel. There's the name of every single individual mesh and the mod that put them there. This is one thing I love about Mod Organizer 2 is just the information you have at hand is extensive and it is pretty wonderful. And the devs have worked really hard to get this into a functional state and it has come so far in the past several months that I am actually very impressed. But there you go, guys. That's how you do a BSA extraction. The BA2 extraction is exactly the same. You can just translate what you see here into Fallout 4 just fine. Now, I would only recommend using the BSA extractor if you're using Mod Organizer 2. It's designed to be used with Mod Organizer 2. You can use it for Nexus Mod Manager or Vortex to make your own archives and whatnot. But just the way those things work and the lack of file management that they have, at least at this time, I would recommend not doing that. Again, only if you're using Mod Organizer or Mod Organizer 2. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative enough to get you started. If uh, you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. I would love to hear back from every single one of you guys. All right, guys, this is Talem, and I will see you in the next modding video.